The computer is a wonderful tool. With the internet, you can buy just about anything. If you're in the market for ladies lingerie or you just want to take a peek, click on a sleazy internet catalog called Nighty Nights. That's my granddaughter Tamara. Modeling like this is no different than the way women model for painters. Right, Mr. Hammer? Your granddaughter disappeared after she did this? We got a call on the machine that said she had another job. It was on the machine, right, Tansy? Yeah, right, Grandma Dominic. When Tamara didn't come home, I was worried. So I called the police. Did you show them this? No. This is legal, this modeling, right? Lots of things are legal, Mrs. Dominic. You should show this to the police. How did you happen to find it? Oh, he knew. Here I am, worried with no sleep, and this boy, he keeps it to himself. And he knows more things. I'm sure if Tansy knew something more about where his sister was, he would tell us. Right, Tansy? See that face? That face says that he's not telling his grandma everything. So my heart breaks for my poor lost Tamara and this stone-faced boy. I should take you by your ears. All right, Mrs. Dominic, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to Tansy alone. Oh, good. You talk to Mr. Hammer. All right, Tansy, I want some answers, and I want them fast. How did you find out about this computer 99s thing? Did your sister tell you? No. Kid at school found it on his computer. He dissed me, so I gave him a black eye. You got something to say? No, no, no. Do you know where your sister is now? Is she with some guy? Hey, you better watch your mouth. I'll make a note. No, I'll make a note. I got an address for you. WW dot this. Hmm. You know, your grandmother really cares about you. Yeah, well, my grandma's been taking care of me and my sister since her parents died. So, what I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna keep to yourself, okay? Yeah, sure, just between you and me. Go ahead, sure. Seeing my sister tomorrow's dead. Get the guy who killed her and I'll bring you water bills like that for the rest of your life. Hey, kid. Where'd you get a hold of this kind of cash? It's my business. Find him. Yes, sir. Mike. What do you got? Tomorrow, it's the girl. Right, Some kinky sex by the minute thing. Oh, God, Mike. All right. Man, relax, relax. Come on. Tansy's sister didn't look like the girl next door anymore. This wasn't the pretty image needed to sell lacy underwear. Okay. This was selling something else. Yeah, something Tamara Dominic hadn't bargained for. That couldn't be real. Mike? Any way you can save this? Yeah. Yeah, I'll download it right now. I've seen lots of people die, in life and in the movies. I knew in my gut the boy was right. This wasn't pretend. This was murder. I wasn't sure who they made the Nighty Nights catalog for. Women who wanted to be beautiful for a night, or was it for men to dream by? 
Tamara started out as a dream girl and ended up as a dead girl, and I was going to find out why. Velda, call Brenda Smith. We see if her modeling agency sent any girls over there. I owe her a phone call anyway. You know this is costing you, Mike. Two bucks a minute. Two bucks a minute? I thought the internet was free. Well, the catalog is free, but the kinky stuff and the snuff film, that costs 75 bucks for three minutes. <sighs> Man, you got to have deep pockets to be a pervert. Will you just give me your credit card number? My credit card? Hold on, pal. Hey, your case, your card. Hey, at two bucks a minute, you shouldn't be looking at me. You should be looking at the screen. I left Brenda a message, but I found that article. Congress did set up an office in New York to investigate internet porn. Interesting. Don't you think it's a good place to start? Listen, you see any faces you recognize, you track them down. You got it, Mike. What do you want me to do? Open a file. Anybody calls, tell them I'm on a case. And Nick, just look at the faces. Oh, Mike, I'm so happy to see you, you know. I need to talk to you. About what? Well, it's about the smoke. It's everywhere, you know, and just... Oh. I cannot take it any longer. So. Yeah, well, I, uh... And you should stop smoking. I'm working on it. Hey, wait a minute, I got something here. This open audition for 90 Night Models. Is that the address? Yeah. I got an idea on how I can get us into 90 Nights. You want to give it a try? No. Not without Mike's okay. Well, these auditions are today. This can't wait. So, what's your idea? While Nick and Velda were out playing detectives, I decided to investigate the investigators. I watched the numbers on my taxi meter flash by like the numbers on a gas pump as I headed for the congressional offices where internet hey, porn was the special of the day. Tax dollars at work. It makes you proud to be an American. Yep, I've heard of 90 Nights, but I don't remember any serious complaints about them. Do you have an active file on them? Oh, yeah, sure. Yep, this world is full of beeps, buzzers, and alarms. I tell you, after eight hours of that, I could just scream. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Occasionally, there's a government worker who makes the whole process run smoothly. Almost as if they work for us. There it is. And then oh, again... Sorry, you're busy. Is there uh, anything I can do to help? Mr. Hammer, this is Lex Combs. He's our director of investigations. Mr. Hammer's a private investigator. He was referred to our office by Deputy Mayor Lawrence. It's a pleasure, Mr. Hammer. Same here. Deputy Mayor Lawrence is my city coordinator. I'm surprised he didn't send you directly to me. <laughs> Mr. Hammer, I am an excellent judge of people, and you don't seem like the computer type to me. You're right. I don't even know how to turn one on. <laughs> I'm looking for a missing girl. Do you think she might be here? No, she's a lingerie model. She works for Nighty Nights, a porn catalog. It's all over the Internet. You know anything about it? Oh, sure, sure. See, our plan is to clean up the internet, but it's a very difficult task. You see, the Supreme Court has ruled cyber porn free speech, protected under the First Amendment. Really? It makes you feel safe, doesn't it? Uh, have you checked out the 90 Nights catalog? Oh, yeah, sure. They're legal. As legal as the uh, lingerie catalog that you get in the mail. I assume you do get a lingerie catalog in the mail, Mr. Hammer? I certainly do. I keep it right next to my commode. <laughs> What'd you find out? Well, there are a lot of illegal organizations that are jumping up right now because they are enormously profitable and therefore dangerous. Now, we're trying to take out the most objectionable, but it's difficult because the laws are so nebulous. What you're saying is that one man's porn is another man's party, huh? That's right. Excuse me, just a second. Yeah, good, good. Uh, hang on, hang on. Can you wait just one minute, Mr. Hammer? Yeah. All right, make it 2.30. Mr. Hammer? 
I'm gone. All right, fine. Make it 3.30. Sweetheart, I think you can print out that file and mail it to me. Sure. Oh, by the way, your boss, uh, his aftershave is kind of strong, isn't it? It's cologne, and it costs more for a bottle than I make in a week. Don't ask for a raise. Thanks for the favor. <laughs> My pleasure. Lex Combs' cologne wasn't the only thing that stank. Nick and Velda had sniffed out the Nighty Night Studio just in time for cattle call. Ladies, let's keep it moving! You here for the auditions? I'm not here for my health. It's my sister, Nevi. I'll, uh, she'll do. I'll fill this out. I'll take that. Change the room's over there. Oh, no. Nevy doesn't need to change a thing. Oh, well, Nevy, there's just three in front of you, so why don't you just scoot on over there? Make sure she signs that. Touch me. Lose your teeth. Come here a second. Did I warn you about touching the girls? Did I warn you, Greaseball? If when I leave the room and you can't be trusted, the answer is not for me to stay in this room. It's for you to leave. As in permanently. Get it? While Velda was enforcing a hands-off policy, Nick was implementing a hands-on policy. He had spotted audition tapes he hoped would provide a clue to Tamara's murder. Hi. Hi. Is this your first time? Oh, yeah. And my last. Uh... All right, you're next singing in the rain. Hey, Gene Kelly's dead, so you can drop the raincoat, OK? Oh, yeah, baby. I'm rolling tape here. Move. Don't, don't just stand there. Come on. Do something sexy for me, baby. I mean, this ain't Macy's, sweetheart. We don't need no mannequins. You do that again, and you will die without children. Sexy enough for you. All right, all right. Thanks for coming, honey. And maybe this isn't for you. Oh, I don't think this is for anyone. Bitch. What, you too good for us? I can see you can't be trusted. Uh, Claudia, Go just... home and take a cold shower. You're fired. What? Get out. You heard me. Get out. Now. Do me a favor. Pop the hood and turn the starter. Tell me it was worth the humiliation. Well, I got some tape that might help. If we can find girls in our nighty nights and the kinky stuff. You got some girly videotapes in your backpack. Hey, man, just relax. I might have grabbed something accidentally. Let me check. If your sister's price is right, maybe we could talk. What are you doing here? Uh, did I not tell you that I was on this case? I believe that I did tell you that I was on this case. And I'm surprised at you, Velda. You should know better. Listen, Mike. Don't interrupt. You are not to get involved in an investigation as I tell you. Do not interrupt. Maybe I should have let him interrupt me. Sometimes I replay those moments in my mind when I could have ducked, dodged, or listened, but didn't. Wait, 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 wait. Should have bit his ear. Pop the hood, will you? Look what you did to my hand. Hey, you got another one? Oh. Oh. Had another one. Oh. Oh. You just copped your last feel. Well, I'm oh. shot. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh. I'm sorry. Happy? Give me five, man. Give me two. 
Start this catch up. Let's get the hell out of here. Brenda Smiley had a modeling agency that handled upscale clients. She didn't know tomorrow, so we looked at the video Nick had liberated for other smiling faces. Nighty nights works too cheap for me. But you know the operation. Uh, it started out as a class act. Now Claudia's struggling just to keep it legit. Oh, and her partner, Walter? Not anybody I'd want to do business with. Well, you'd think they could afford to pay their models. I mean, if not from the catalog, they're getting two bucks a minute for this stuff. This girl I know. So, Vicki, when did you do this catalog thing? Six months ago. Longer, maybe. But I'm done with modeling now. Well, tell me about Nighty Nights. The Nighty Nights gig was okay. And who was calling the shots? Claudia coordinated that. Walter hinted that there might be some more work for me. And? And there was a party afterward. He said that if you had fun and saw potential, that there'd be some very different type work. How different? Well, I'd heard stories. You know, the animal trank stuff that the perverts use? No. The date rape drug. Oh. Well, it was just a rumor, but when I saw the champagne bottle come out, I grabbed the elastic of my panties and made for the door. Listen, um, this is Tamara Dominic. You ever run across her? I don't think so. Why, is she in trouble? I'm working for a family. I'm trying to find her. That's great that she's got a family that's looking for her. Our friends at Nighty Nights had a questionnaire that focused on family values. Oh, oh hi. hi. Sorry. Uh, oh. I, I, I got some good news for you there, Miss uh, Jamie McKnight. Looks like there's going to be a Nighty Nights, McKnight. I got the job? You got the job. Oh, great. I, I, I noticed you, had a, you didn't fill out any family info. What is it? Uh, I don't have any family info. <laughs> I never knew my dad, and I lost my mom two years ago. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, no brothers or sisters? Nope. Just me. You, you been in New York long? Uh, mm, a, a few weeks. I'm lucky to get this right off the farm, right? No, no, no. You, you, you deserve this. New York has always been a city of dreams. There are immigrants dreaming of a new start, dreams of being a star on Broadway. Dreams that little boys have of their sister, which turn into nightmares. And there are people with sick dreams who profit from that misery. We're gonna upload this poem. We gotta put the high-speed mainframe down here. This thing is way too slow. That night, I dreamed of catching Tamara Dominic's killer. I had everybody in the office early. Oh, and uh, call the 35th precinct, get a hold of Skip Gleason, and tell him to meet me at Lou's. His schedule, but soon. What about? Mention 99, see if he knows anything about this government guy, Lex Combs. Federal Internet Investigator Branch. Oh, good, she came through. What are these lottery numbers? Let's see. These are web addresses. What are all these stars and symbols? There's nothing like that on any keyboard I've ever seen. I've seen these symbols before. This is encoded. Well, can we access them? Well, if I were a hacker, maybe. I don't believe it. I should have called in sick today. Hammer. Don't you knock? Barry Lawrence. What, are they fumigating City Hall? Now, was that a way to address the deputy mayor? Are we alone? Well, I've got to use the bathroom anyway. Always a pleasure to see you, deputy mayor. For me. So, Barry, how are you? Do I look happy? I hope not, because I hate looking the opposite of what I am. I know what you are. What do you want? You went into a federal office the other day, an office established by Congress, and you implied that I sent you there? Did I give that impression? Well, you of all people should know how bureaucrats are. Don't give me that. You know, your problem has always been that you don't understand the big picture. Oh, really? Really. Now, I'm in charge of coordinating all the various law enforcement agencies in the city of New York. All of them. I coordinate them all. Be careful, Barry. Napoleon ran it that way before they put him on the island. That's not funny. We got a director of a federal investigative branch and a gumshoe standing in his office? A Neanderthal private eye who's trying to insinuate his way into the highest of high-tech law enforcement? Hey, I've got a client. I go where the case takes me. Well, go somewhere else, because as of tomorrow, you're not even gonna have a license. In fact, you can hand over your weapon right now. Forget it, pal. Betsy doesn't leave home without me. Oh, really? Well, ask Betsy what she wants for breakfast, because either I get that gun or you spend a night downtown. 
Listen, Barry, I've got a dead girl on my hands. I don't know where this case is taking me. Without my peace, I'm like a guy cut off at the knees. You give me that gun or I'll get a court order. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hey! Relax, Barry. Watch your blood pressure. You think this is a game? This is not a game. And you don't have a case that deals with the internet. You understand me? And don't make a mistake of thinking this is a warning. This is a threat. You hand over that gun or I'll pull your license. All right. You've got it. But this is a warning and it is a threat. You take good care of her or I'll take care of you. I'll make a note. If Barry's warning had any chance of slowing me down, it disappeared when I saw Lex Combs. Without Betsy, I had to plan my steps carefully. Hello? Claudia? Brenda Smidley. Brenda. G gosh, it's great to hear from you. I know, it's been too long. Uh, how are you doing? OK, OK. Gosh, so glad you called. Things are turning around. I finally landed a big investor. Great. Well, I'll stop by and uh, discuss my girls and update you on my list. Uh, one more thing. I need a cameraman to do some audition tapes, and I was wondering about the guy you use. Do you have an address and phone number for him? He's history. I just canned him. Oh? Yep, couldn't keep his hands to himself. Listen, the guy's a pig. I wouldn't recommend him. Well, I'm in a jam. Uh, give me his number. And it's just for one day. Oh, OK. Hold on. Great, you're a doll, Claudio. I'll stop by tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, he's definitely out of there, but I got his number. Great work, Brenda. Now, what I need is a file of pretty faces that they haven't seen before at Nighty Nights. You know, I was contacted by an agency in the Midwest, a farm community, with some local photographer taking shots of small-town girls. It's a bunch of high school-type poses, really corny. That's the ticket. Thanks, Brenda, I owe you one. How do you want to play this? Well, let's see if we can give our unemployed cameraman a hand. Nick and I headed across town to have a conversation with Nighty Night's touchy-feely cameraman. I hoped that with a little persuasion, he might remember Tamara. Hello? Hello? I don't like this, Mike. Me neither. I wish Betsy were here. There's got to be $100,000 worth of equipment here. Bad time for this guy to lose his job. And he leaves the front door wide open? Grab the invoice off that box. Wait a minute. What's this? These files are being deleted. It's got to be some kind of virus. Can we stop it? Try. That's a cable over there. This is a network computer with the codified alarm. I try to access the files, the alarm goes off. Wait a minute, speak English, what do you mean? That way, if you try to enter a secure file, the guy who created the file knows about it. Yep, this is on a network. Listen, Mike, we gotta get out of here before these guys catch us. Don't worry, they're not coming back. They got a little hung up. If I was gonna nail Tamara's killer, I knew I had to flush him out of shadows. I was hoping Skip Gleason could shed some light. Hey, Hap, what'd you do, forget about me? I'm sorry, Skip, I got tied up here. Hi, Velda. Nick? Skip? I gotta track that friend down in Treasury. And I'm going to lunch with my sister. She blew her diet, and now she wants to cry about it over Lomaine. I thought we were supposed to meet at Lou's. I was down there for 20 minutes. <sighs> Judging from your breath, you didn't waste your time. Nighty nights. What'd you find out? Uh, that Walter character, he's new to the company. He used to run a porno video store over in Jersey. Now, Claudia, she's a mystery lady. And that, uh, that place is nearly bankrupt twice over. Lex Combs, what'd you find out about Not that? Not even a parking ticket. 
Chicago. He must have been born fully grown at 40. Huh. Invisible man. Yeah. Too good to be true. Yeah, it probably isn't. So I don't know, Skip. What do you figure? Secret Service? Maybe feds? Uh, hey, I'm starving. Can we do this over lunch? Well, eat this. Listen, I'm sorry. I gotta run. I'm late for another appointment. Well, thanks. You got milk? To solve Tamara Dominic's murder, I knew I had to make my move. I had the feeling whoever was behind the internet porn operation would be in a hurry to get out when they realized I was on my way in. I entered 99s with a plan, but without Betsy, which made me very lonely. Hey, Walter. It's me, Calvin. Calvin, yeah. He's your pretty sister with a bad attitude. Well, so it didn't work out with her. You know how chicks are. Check this record. Listen, I want you to meet my friend Mike. Why? Well, because Mike's got some girls lined up in farm towns. Girls that want to be models. <laughs> uh, what, what do you got, Mike? Let me tell you something, Walter. I've been in the best stock breeding towns in Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska. I meet girls all the time. I want to get out of these cow towns and get into uh, high fashion. You know what I mean? I'm talking about fresh faces and hard bodies. Hey, that could be a company motto. Roofies, huh? I'm sure to put the ladies in that special mood. Oh, who's the chick? The chick runs this operation. Who are you? I can get you girls. I'm very selective who I get my help from. I'm afraid you don't make the cut. Tough broad. That, that's funny. Uh, Claudia doesn't like me either. I consider that a vote of confidence. You definitely need to stick around. Beautiful women in scanty silk, lace, and see-through. Being around that might sound like a slice of heaven, but there was a catch. If one woman dressed that way for you, that's exciting. If 20 women dressed that way for a camera, it felt like a business. And I couldn't push it out of my mind that it had been a deadly business for a beautiful young girl with a grieving family. Nick and I were finally on the inside, where we could do some peeping of our own. This is a response room. When somebody contacts the website to get a catalog, it comes right here. What's this stuff mean? These are international transactions, and I got a feeling they're selling a lot more than Silk Nights. Take a look at these dollar figures. And take a look at the codes on the dot-com addresses. Symbols and stars. Just like the government porn files you got. This whole setup is a federal agency operation? It can't be. It sure looks that way. Unless the government is a client. Now, this is a new set of detective work for me. The bloodhound approach? It's low-tech, but still effective. Lock this place up like nobody's been here. OK. So. I figure we shoot the video tape, we turn it over to the computer nerds. Once the ladies get here and the mood is set, a guy with an eye for talent like you have, and like I have, can spot an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And pick the hungry ones, the ones with the need for cash, you know, looking for an opportunity. With no angry fathers or boyfriends in the park. Huh? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Special girls from the group who are willing to do just a little bit more. Hey, now you're reading from my playbook. After we wrap the catalog video shoots, we do a little after hours. You know, we party first, and then we uh, change the sets, and we get kinkier. My own little sideline. Oh, I can hardly wait. Listen, is this whole thing your operation? Because I can always get you more girls. It's just that, is there somebody else I should be talking with? There is uh, someone I'll discuss it with, but, but I'm the point man. You know, I understand. I keep bubbly around because, well, I like bubbly, but these babies make the party. Tranks? A higher grade of pills than you can get on the street. We don't use that veterinarian crap. Oh, good. Oh, let your pal Calvin know that this party is for the special few. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't at a level yet. You know? No, 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 no problem. Don't worry. I, I'm gonna lose him. Good. Well, check the dressing rooms because I saw him peeking in the doorways. What? You know the fun part of uh, seeing a pervert on the way up is imagining yourself at that age, isn't it? <laughs> hey, that's why I got to the business. Just shut up. Hey, Calvin, it's past your bedtime. I'm not tired. 
You look tired. I think you better go home. Okay, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Listen, wait. There's a bank of computers in that small room. One of those computers is dumping stocks and moving money into a different bank account. Someone's doing it fast. They must know we're here. Oh, good. At least we're making progress. Should I call for backup? All right, 90 minutes. Not a second before. You gotta watch? Yeah. I hope it runs better in your car. Okay, I'm out of here. 90 minutes. 90 Mike. minutes. Oh. Hey, man, this ain't fair. I'm the one who brought you here. If you're staying, I ought to be staying. Hey, don't raise your voice to me. I'm sorry, but uh, this isn't fair, Mike. Get out of here. Good, good, good. He's a good-looking kid. Is he gay? Now, you know, uh, sometimes the situation presents itself and the ladies are willing. Sometimes the vision needs to be altered first. Go fast. And that's where the pharmacy comes in. Huh? Ooh. I like you. Well, I like you too, but uh, I'm talking to Walter. Oh, you remind me of someone. Who? Your father? My grandfather. But I want you now. Grandpa must have died with a smile on his face. <laughs> There's a room right over there. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. Maybe later. I. Mm -hmm. I like tight, dark places. Yeah. Anywhere. Please listen to me, sweetheart. Listen to me. They've got Never camera. you listen. Never. I'm Jamie McKnight, FBI. We've been monitoring your involvement. I'm in here with no wires, no backup. <laughs> what is going on here? Come on, keep talking. Uh, this operation was CIA set up uh, to uh, what? budget cuts, yeah. abandon it, it went south. Bad, trying to um, monitor what. Ah, what, come crap, on. I can't make any sense. Come on, I'm... come on, come on, you can do it. Come uh, on. FBI agent Jamie McKnight. Brave, doped, and vulnerable. I knew if I didn't do something fast, she'd be the star of a new snuff film coming soon to a computer near you. What? Are you sure? Oh, okay, okay, I I'll take care of it. FBI agent Jamie McKnight and I were both in over our heads. I was caught in a deadly website without Betsy, and every move I made was being watched. It was time to play the shadow game myself. Let it out, take it as we go. Put the check down, Mike. Or is the name Mike? Okay, Walter. But uh, she's pretty far gone. Get it, pal. Hey, Walter. It's been fun. Adios. It's, it's my show, baby. You know, you got a problem. Your boss is leaving town without you, and he's got all the money. What is going on here? What's, what are you doing with the gun? Who the hell do you think you are, you stupid man? Oh, oh, oh. I killed Claudia! That's right. He knows. You see those red lights, huh? The cameras are watching, Walter. He wanted you to kill Claudia, just like he killed Tamara. So say hello to the internet. Oh, that, that was an accident. When he killed that girl, he flinched into her. He accidentally killed her. Come on, come on, Walter. Don't be an idiot. It was all part of a plan. It was no accident. The plan was to find young single girls without families. And that plan went south because Tamara Dominic didn't want her grandmother and brother to know the truth about her modeling career. So she didn't list their names. I'm not a killer, Mike. I'm a pervert. I know. 
You're also a stooge. But don't feel lonely. Because I should have figured this out myself. The first time I asked about the Nighty Nights franchise, he knew I was on my way in. He's a smart guy. And then your boss tried to make sure I stayed out of the way by using his pull at City Hall. And your cohorts who tried a little blackmail to set up their own cottage industry underestimated an old CIA operative. Smart guy? He's a dead guy. <laughs> you know, you really are a pain. It's not that you're so bright. It's just that you won't go away. You blew your cover, Lex. The man with the button-down shirt, tattoo on his wrist, makeup on his cuff. That's a man with something to hide. Should have worn a bigger watch, pal. Maybe a different perfume. Like one of those little cardboard pine trees around your neck. You really are an irritating man, Mr. Hammer. But then we all have our faults. Good. That hurt, Mr. Hammer. That hurt a lot. Now I'm gonna have to hurt you. You are making me really angry, Mr. Hammer. Mind to finish you off and then go back to your office and kill your pretty secretary. Definitely your obnoxious young assistant. Dead hammer. Dead hammer. Dead hammer. Keep it up, hammer. Keep it up. You know, Mr. Hammer, this would be a lot more fun if you had a gun. But I do have a gun. I have Walter's gun. Oh, well, then why don't we take a break and I'll go kill the FBI chick. I know where you left her. Go ahead, kill her. She means nothing to me. But I can tell you this. As soon as I see a flash of you around, I'll get a beat on you. You're a dead man. You're lying. You don't have Walter's gun. Yeah? You want to try me? You'd have used it already. We want you alive, Lex. Nick is at the door. You hear that? The police are spreading the net. There's no way out for you, pal. Pretty guy like you ought to look good in prison. No, Mr. Hammer. I don't think I'm going to prison. Take him, now! Shot. How did this happen? You don't even have a gun. I didn't need one. I just gave him the finger. I got a client. Where's Betsy? Look, I blew it this time, and, uh... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Now, where is she? You know, I went to light the mere cigar the other day and nearly blew his brains out. <laughs> you just can't wait to get his job, can you, Barry? You know, that is a horrible thing to say. It's all part of the big picture, pal. The 
red ones are heavier. So he's the guy? He's the guy. Are you sure? Positive. Well, then I owe you this. Hey, now, wait a minute. I don't want your money. No, I pay my debts. Okay. Why, Mr. Hammer? Tomorrow was good. I know. Tansy, sometimes things happen we just can't explain. The important thing is we're here and we got to keep going. And you got to take care of your grandma. Right. Okay. I'll see ya. See ya. Nancy? You okay? I'm fine. It's okay to cry, you know. Even tough guys cry. It was important for Tansy Dominic to make his regular payment. He felt he had played his part in his sister's justice. So I took the money and I stuck it in an envelope, added a little of my own, and got it back to the family through Father Daniels at Holy Communion Church. It was important for Tansy to think there was justice. And it's important to me to know someone else believes in it even if he's only a tough 13-year-old kid.